Remember these wise words, the world is your ship and not your home. A famous quote by Saint Therese of Lisieux. This scene introduces us to the early years of Saint Therese, a journey that begins in the winter of 1873 in the quaint town of Alençon, France. She was the youngest of five daughters, a blessing that came with its own challenges. Her life took a dramatic turn when her mother passed away, forcing her to grow up faster than most four-year-olds. Her father, seeking a fresh start, moved the family to Lisieux. A new chapter began for Therese, marked by a profound spiritual awakening at the tender age of 14. This pivotal moment sparked a fire within her, a desire to dedicate her life to God. But life wasn't always smooth sailing for Saint Therese, as her journey was marked by trials and tribulations. Saint Therese, in her quest for divine love, entered the Carmelite convent in Lisieux at a young age of 15. To many, it seemed an impossible feat, yet her burning desire to serve God emboldened her to convince both the Bishop of Bayeux and the Carmelite superior to allow her entrance. Within the convent's sheltering walls, Therese's life was a testament to humility, simplicity, and an unwavering trust in God. She didn't believe in monumental gestures or grandiose acts to demonstrate her faith. Instead, she adopted her own little way, a path of spiritual advancement that focused on small everyday acts of kindness. In her understanding, these seemingly insignificant deeds, performed with love and devotion, hold as much power and spiritual significance as larger, more conspicuous acts. Teresa's journey on earth ended prematurely, as she died at a tender age of 24. But even though she died young, her profound insights into faith and her little way continue to inspire millions around the world. Saint Therese of Lisieux, also known as the Little Flower, left an indelible mark in the world with her simple yet powerful approach to spirituality. Her influence didn't end with her life, but instead, it blossomed, reaching corners of the world she could have only dreamed of. Her autobiography, The Story of a Soul, became a spiritual classic, a beacon of hope and faith translated into numerous languages. Saint Therese's wisdom and devotion were recognized long after her earthly journey came to an end. In 1925, Pope Pius VII canonized her, officially acknowledging her saintly virtues, but her legacy didn't stop there. Fast forward to 1997, and she was declared a Doctor of the Church, an honor bestowed upon saints known for their significant contributions to theology or doctrine. And so, Saint Therese of Lisieux, a young girl from a small town in France, became one of the most influential figures in the Catholic Church, reminding us all that the world is your ship and not your home.